The chairman of the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences, Musa Aliyu, has bemoaned the high level of corruption in the nation's basic education sector. The ICPC boss, who was represented by the Director of Special Services, ICPC, Grizz Agabe, made this observation during his address at the Capacity Building Workshop on promoting transparency and accountability in the management of basic education in the country. He says corruption is a cancer that splits every sector of the nation's life and the education sector is not left out. Corruption is a cancer that ramifies every sector of our national life. And the education sector has not been spared. Indeed, the lower end of the education ladder has witnessed more of its impact. The direct and indirect impact of this on access to the to and quality of education cannot be overemphasized. We are ready to partner with the state universal basic education boards to cascade this training and advance the fight against corruption at the sub-national level. His position was further strengthened by other stakeholders at the event who say for there to be a success story in the basic education sector, transparency and accountability must be key. The capacity workshop was attended by all state suburbs and the FCT UBEB. The three-day workshop is expected to, amongst others, ensure that officials of SUBEB and the FCT UBEB live overboard and above board in the discharge of their functions, ensure transparency and accountability in their dealings, and ensure the eradication of corruption in the basic education sector. Basic education is crucial to the development of any nation. It is indeed the foundation of development. It is, there is no development outside the context of education. And it is doubtful if we can validly talk about a nation being developed without talking about that nation having its citizens educated. This is why a workshop that will address the issues of transparency, accountability, in the management of basic education becomes very important. Without trying to take care of this generation, the younger generation, to prepare them for the future, then we have to. To make sure that they can function, they can compete in the current realities, not only of Nigeria, but of the world that we are living in. It's a task. That is a big one which we have to discharge. But at the same time, it's not just a task for the present. But if we want to safeguard the future of Nigeria, to make sure that we can compete as a nation, to make sure that we can survive as a nation, it becomes an imperative. Because we have no choice than to make Nigeria better. And we are going to miss what brought us here in the next three days if you think you are just here for work shop. But the work of Subeb and Ubeg, it's already here in the new national anthem, the second stanza, the last two lines that we should pass on to our children a banner that has no stain. That is your responsibility. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.